So you guys have non-stop been requesting that I do a tutorial for the Starburst pattern. If you don't know, this is what the pattern looks like once you finish it. I currently have two of these already made, and I'm making another one in purple. I decided to do a collection of these in different colors because I like the pattern a lot. So as you can tell, obviously the pattern is quite big. It's definitely not a beginner pattern. I would say it's intermediate, and even more on the advanced side of intermediate. So going into this tutorial, I'm gonna be going pretty quickly, and basically I'm just gonna explain what what's the best way to read the pattern and how it's best to segment knot this bracelet. It's really not that difficult to do, but you definitely have to have some level of experience to go into this. So again, just to reiterate, I'm going to be going pretty quickly, which is why I already made the start. I already have a loop and two triangle ends. I have a completely separate tutorial on the loop. I have a separate tutorial on the triangle ends and how to do them after a loop. I expect that you already know how to do these things if you're attempting a bracelet this difficult. And during the tutorial, I'm gonna be going pretty quickly. So, <laughs> that being said, let's get into it. So this is the way that I like to separate my triangle ends. I like the triangle ends to complement the shape of the pattern, and in this case, the pattern starts in a perfect sort of double triangle right at the beginning of the star. And I did the exact same thing here. And to do that, you arrange your strings in a very specific order. So as you can see, you've got one string that's sort of the outline. And for me, that's the darkest color. So I've got this dark red here. I have a dark purple here. These two triangle ends are mirror images of each other. I'm just gonna look at the left one first. So for the left side of the triangle end, you bring out the darkest string first, and then you go in a gradient to the lightest, then the white and then in a gradient from the lightest to the darkest. So gradient from darkest to lightest, white, and then lightest to darkest. And then on the other side, you've just got this first string, which is the darkest string, and then the rest of the white strings. And by the rest, I mean six white strings. Same for the other side, but flipped. And you can also reference the pattern to see what strings you need to bring out at what point. Now, in regards to actually reading the pattern and the method that I found easiest, I'm gonna try and explain it now. <laughs> so this pattern is quite big. I'm gonna try and go as quickly as I can while it's explaining as much as I can. So you're gonna take the two strings that are in the middle here, the two outline strings, the two darkest strings. You're gonna connect them in the center by doing a knot between them. And then you're gonna bring one of them all the way to the right, one of them all the way to the left. This one goes all the way to the right in forward knots, this one goes all the way to the left in backward knots. We're not gonna be doing a knot on the last string here because we haven't connected the two halves yet of the triangle ends. So for now, we're just gonna leave that be. We're gonna connect the two triangle ends once we do a bit of this as well. So I've moved it all the way to the right except the last string. This one goes all the way to the left. And then on the other side, you do exactly the same thing. You connect the two strings in the center. One goes all the way to the right, one goes all the way to the left. But the one that goes all the way to the left, you're not gonna make a knot on the last white string since you haven't connected the two halves yet. So now that that is done, this is the point where I want to connect the two triangle ends. I like to connect the triangle ends at a point where I can go over the connection straight away, and this is where I can do that with that purple thread. I'm gonna connect the two white strings right now in a knot very carefully, and then straight away after that, I'm gonna go over the connection with the purple thread sort of closing off their connection. There we go, so that connection was made. I went over that connection with the purple thread. First row is done. Next up, we're gonna start off with the white. So taking the first white thread that is closer to the center here, we're gonna go all the way to the left, pretty much up until the very edge, but excluding the last string, which is the purple. Love 
Next up, we're gonna bring in the second white string that is closest to the center. Doing the same exact thing, bringing the same white string all the way to the left up until that same exact string. So excluding the purple string, excluding the white string that we just brought to the left, all the way along these strings. And then now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we take the white string that's closest to the center and we bring it all the way to the right in a row of forward knots, excluding the purple string that was used for the outline. And then the second white string, same exact thing, bringing it all the way out to the right, excluding the outline string, excluding the white string. All right, this next part is extremely easy. You grab the purple string that is in the center coming out from underneath the white knots. And then there's another one of these on the other side coming out from the other white knots. And you literally just do a chevron with these into the center. chevron is done you take the white string coming out from underneath that chevron the first one and so if the previous white string you did the row of backward knots up until this string you now remove that string put it off to the side and you do a row of backward knots on the remaining strings with this white string and same on the other side after that as well What you do next is another chevron. You grab the next color that you have from underneath this white string. You've got the same color coming out from both sides and you literally just do a chevron. Alright, so at this point you're going to notice sort of the repetition of the pattern. We've done a chevron, now we're going to do the same thing as we did previously. We take out the white string, we look at where the previous white string finished, and it finished at this, and not on this string. So we separate that, and with this new white string we do backward knots on the remaining strings. And then once you've done that, again, super repetitive at this stage, you grab the next color and you just do a chevron. Once again, we're doing the same exact thing. You take the next white string, you look at where the previous white string finished, and that was here. You separate that, and then do backward knots on the remaining strings. And again, repeating the same thing. Grabbing the two next color strings, and doing a chevron. So this is the point where things start to get interesting because at this point we're doing the divider between the top and the sides. Focusing on the left side for now, all of that string that we've brought out to the left, putting that aside for now, and we're just focusing on these strings that are left over here. We've got a bunch of string here that's coming out from underneath the chevron and it's sort of facing to the left, but then we also have this one string that's facing to the right that's coming out from underneath here. This is the string that we're gonna be making knots onto. So we're gonna be taking all of these strings that are coming out from under the chevron and we're going to be doing backward knots onto the string that is facing the other direction. And 
have then same exact thing on the other side. So we have one string that is coming from underneath these white strings that is going to the left. This is the string we're making knots onto and these are the strings we're making knots with. Alright, so quite a big chunk we've already done. Let's continue. So all those strings we just did backward knots with, there's a color string that's just to the left of them, which is this light purple for me. And then we have another one on the other side. So again, these are all the strings we did forward knots with. Got a white string and then a color string. So these two color strings, the light purple, just do a chevron with them. Alright, so next up, we're gonna take the next color, and the next color string is the next purple in the gradient, and there's one on the other side as well. And what you're gonna do here is you're gonna do forward knots, bring it into the center, up until you meet the string that matches this color, which is this one, they're the same color, and you do forward knots until that string, and then same on the other side as well, but backward knots. Pretty much, you continue doing that for every color. It's the same exact motion. You grab the color on the left side and same on the right, and you do forward knots with it until you reach the string that matches its color. So again, you find the string that is the same color. For me, it's this one. So you're gonna do forward knots with it until the string of the same color. And then on the left side, backward knots. And then once that's done, you grab the next color, do the same thing for that. And then once that's done, you grab the next color and do the same thing for that. So it's exactly the same motion, quite simple. I'm gonna do that. Essentially half is done. Now we need to do the white bits on the sides. And the white bits on the sides are actually very easy to do. Basically, you disregard everything apart from the white bit. You just focus on the white strings. You grab the leftmost string for this side, rightmost string for that side. This is the string you're gonna finish on. So it's gonna end up looking like a triangle. Let me demonstrate, that probably doesn't make sense. Grab the leftmost string, do a row of forward knots. Remember how I said that this is the string you're gonna finish on? Well, the string that you just did the knots with, put it away. It's completely disregarded now. Now grab the leftmost string, do a row of forward knots, and again, you're gonna finish on the same white string. Once you do that, put that one away. Grab the next one, again, row of forward knots up until this string, put that one away, and so on. And so you're gonna end up with a triangle shape here. And there you go, the little triangle is done. You do the exact same thing on the right side, except with backward knots. So once again, grabbing the outermost string, doing backward knots, putting that string aside. Next string, backward knots, putting that string aside. And you do that until you run out of strings. What we're gonna be focusing on now is bringing the star back out. So starting with the outline, we've got this dark purple outline that we brought in. On both sides, we're gonna take that and we're gonna bring it out all the way. So on the left in a row of backward knots, on the right in a row of forward knots. So 
next up we look at where we finished and we finished at the end with this one and we separate two white strings same on the other side the two last white strings and we put those off to the side next we grab the next color which is this slightly lighter purple and we bring it out as well in a row of forward knots on this side up until this white string and the same thing on the other side you take out the next color and you bring it all the way to the left and backward knots up until this white string again excluding these two white strings All right, what you're gonna do next is gonna be this repeating motion until you run out of colors. You take the next color, which is this slightly lighter purple for me, and then you look at the previous color. Where did that one finish? That one finished on this string for me. So you separate that one as well, put it off to the side, just like we did a little bit before as well. And now you're gonna do forward knots on the remaining strings and exactly the same thing on the left. And then once you've done it with this color, you're gonna do it with the next color and with the next color as well. So the same repeating motion. Alright, so now that you've brought out all the colors, you're now gonna focus on the sort of dividing layer, similarly to how we did one here. So the next string poking out is this white string. So as you can see, all of these strings are coming out from underneath the sort of chevron bit to the right. This one is coming out from here and going to the left. And we've got another one on the other side, but opposite, going to the right. So all of these strings going in that direction from underneath the chevron are gonna do forward knots one by one onto this white string going that way. Basically the same thing we did here but in reverse because it's upside down and then you do the same thing on the other side but with backward knots All right, now that that separation bit is done, we are heading into the bottom part of this star shape. And what we're gonna be doing here is essentially a reverse chevron. So we're starting at a point and we're going out. So we've got two strings in the middle, these two light purple strings that are gonna go each their own separate ways, one to the left and one to the right. And you can very clearly tell where you need to finish just by looking at the string sort of direction. These strings, they're all pointed that way because they're coming from the chevron of this side. These strings are all pointed that way but yet you have the same strings that we just did these forward knots with on this side that are pointed that way. Those are the ones you're gonna be doing the backward knots on and on this side, the forward knots. You see what I mean? These strings point that way, these strings point this way. So you're gonna go in with backward knots with this purple up until this first white string. Once you've brought out the first color string, you're now gonna bring in the white string from the sides. So the first white string that's closest to the center, not this one because this one is facing that direction and is coming from underneath this bit, the first one that's coming from underneath the chevron and that is pointed to the right. Grab that one and then you're gonna look back and determine which color string you just brought out. And for me, this was the slight purple string here. So with this white string, you're doing forward knots onto each string individually until you reach the color string that you just brought out. So for me, this light purple and I only need to do three knots. Exact same thing on the other side, but with backward knots. Once you've brought in the white strings, you are now gonna bring out the color string again. So you're gonna be sort of alternating those two motions. The two color strings in the center now are the slightly darker purple for me. So I'm just gonna do a knot between them and then bring them out in a reverse chevron. And you're gonna bring them out up until that white string that you just brought in. And you're gonna be repeating that same motion over and over again until you run out of strings. You bring out the color string, just like I said, and then you take the next white string, bring it in up until that color string that you just brought out. Then the motion repeats 
repeats itself. You take the color string, bring it out until the white string that you just brought out. Then again, the white string until the color string, then the color string until the white string, and so on until you run out of color strings and white strings. Alright, so once you run out of colours in the middle, well you still have the outline colour, but I mean the other colours, you still have a white string on each side, so you've got like an extra white string. That extra white string does the same thing as the previous one did, just a row of forward knots until this colour. So exactly the same as the previous row, it went up until the colour string, this one does the same thing on either side. And once that last white string is brought into the center, we now focus on the outline. And we've got two of these outline strings in the middle here. And just like we did previously, we bring those out in a reverse chevron. And then these two on the sides, we bring those in in a regular chevron until they meet at a point. So the main star is finished. Now we need to do the divider for the side and the divider for the middle. I prefer to start with the middle, so I'm gonna separate the sides and just have the white strings in the center. And the way I like to do the middle is just by doing a chevron. So starting with the two middle strings, you do a knot between the two and then you leave them be. Grabbing the next string, you do a knot onto those strings, sort of like in a chevron manner. And then same thing on the other side, grabbing the next string, bringing those into the center. Then the next one, and ba you're basically basically doing a chevron until you run out of strings and you have a sort of diamond shape. And there you go, the little diamond for the center is complete. Now focusing on the sides. And the sides are like a side chevron, essentially. You do something very similar to how we did them here. You grab the outermost string, you find its match, and by that I mean color match, so these two strings are the same color, and you bring the outermost string into the center up until it's color match, and you do that for every single color. Same thing on the other side, but in opposite direction, of course. So now that you've brought all of these strings in, you're gonna go back and reverse them out. You're gonna take the last string you just brought in, which is this light purple, do a forward knot. Then the second to last string, which is this slightly darker purple, do forward knots until the last string, which is this purple that you just brought out. And so on and so on and so on, until you run out of strings. Not counting the outline string though. And same for the other side, but opposite. This is all of the repeating parts of the bracelet. You now start from the top and make the entire star thing again, and then of course do the divider again and make another one. I personally find that four stars is exactly what I want for my length, although I've seen some people do three and five. It all depends on what you wanna do. But there you go, I hope you enjoyed. I am gonna finish this bracelet, but I'm gonna finish it on my own time. So unlike my usual tutorials where I show you the finished product at the end, I simply do not have the time right now because I have a flight in 10 hours <laughs> that I really need to get to. But you can see the previous bracelets that I have made with this pattern and they do turn out pretty beautiful. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer as many as I can. I know that this was super fast paced, but I, but I did warn you that this was for more advanced people. So hopefully someone found this understandable. Do leave me some feedback in the comment section as well, because this is my first time ever really doing a sort of advanced bracelet tutorial. So any feedback is much appreciated to make my content better for the future.
future. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I usually post videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays. With this quarantine period, I have been trying to post more. However, you might know I am flying to Russia, as I said, in 10 hours. So I don't know what my content is gonna look like when I am there, since I don't have all my usual filming equipment, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> Once again, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.